From the Opoco Studios in Oklahoma City, this is NFL Draft 2010. With Brandon Chapman, I'm Jenny Carlson. NFL Draft coverage is brought to you by Steve Bailey Honda. Brandon, let's talk a little bit about Parrish Cox. This is a guy that talent-wise, I think you could say could be a first-round draft pick. But he's not really in that conversation, and it's mainly because of his mouth. <laughs> How much could his, uh, what he's said along the way cost him in this NFL draft? You know, I think it's, it's partly his mouth, and it's also, you know, just the suspension. If you look at the suspension, um, after a season where you did extremely well, people are talking extremely highly about you, and then you get suspended for your final college game. I mean, you have to answer to that. And some of the answers to it, I mean, people are people are kind of up in the air as far as some of the answers to it. So for Paris Cox, it, it really comes down to the – I mean, he might have cost himself quite a bit of money just because of his decision on the Cotton Bowl and then some of, uh, some of the actions from that point forward. If you take his career before the Cotton Bowl, though, he had been rock solid, a, a, a returner, obviously a defensive back who came into his own as a senior. Is he a guy that could really be, a, a, you know, a sleeper potentially, a guy that once he gets on the field could be a really great NFL player? Oh, no doubt. I think uh, we might be looking back at him two, three, four years from now and how did this guy fall into whichever round he fell to because he has first round talent. It's just a matter of him growing up a little bit and I think in the NFL once he gets around some of those NFL guys, I'm sure somebody will take him under under their wings and just kind of show him, hey, hey, this is what you need to do. You have the talent to be, uh, to be an elite cover corner in this league and this is what you need to do to get there. It's just a matter of parish listening to that person and if he does he could end up being one of the uh, one of the top guys out of this draft and end up making up all that money that he potentially lost these past couple of months all right thanks brandon hey stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the oklahoman nfl draft coverage is brought to you by steve bailey honda